Hello, my name is Shula McClinerman. As the founding director of Seattle Historical Arts for Kids, I'm thrilled that we can be part of Early Music America's Young Performers Showcase again this year and share with you a sampling of our students' work from these past 10 months. This is a really varied program of direct-to-video projects. We've structured this compilation around our season's most large-scale video endeavor, our Baroque Aria project, in which four teen vocal soloists made individual music videos that are playful and hilarious and also musically gorgeous, thanks in no small part to the fabulous professional instrumentalists who played along from home. In between, you'll hear a set of 17th century dance tunes performed by our instrumental ensemble, the Early Music Youth Academy. You'll witness the premiere performances of new student compositions in the style of surviving dance tunes from the Middle Ages, and you'll enter the sound world of historical spoken word with monologues and tunes from Shakespeare, and with middle and early modern English texts performed both with the pen and with the voice in original pronunciation.
Thrice the branded cat doth mewed, thrice and once the hedge pig whined, Harper cry, tis time, tis time. If, by your art, my dearest father, you have put the wild waters in this roar a laven, the sky, it seems, would pour down sticking pitch, but that the sea, mounting from the welkin's cheek, dashes the fire out. Oh, I have suffered with those that I saw suffer, a brave vessel who had, no doubt, some noble creature in her, dashed all to pieces, Oh, the cry did knock against my very heart. Poor souls, we perished. Had I been any god of power, I would have sunk the seas within the earth, or ere it should the good ship so have swallowed, and the frotting souls within her. Oh, woe the day. More to know did never meddle with my thoughts. You have often begun to tell me what I am, but stopped and left me to a bootless inquisition, concluding, Stay, not yet. Tis far off, and rather like a dream than an assurance that my remembrance warrants. Had I not four or five women once that tended me? see Queen Mab happen with you. She is the fairy's midwife, and she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an alderman, drawn with a team of little atomies, athwart men's noses as they lies asleep, her wagon spokes made of long spinner's legs, the covers of the wings of grasshoppers, the traces of the smallest spider's webs, the collars of moonshine's watery beams, her whip of cricket's bone, the lash of film, her wagoner a small, gray-coated net, not half so big as a round little worm pricked from the lazy finger of a maid. Her chariot is an empty hazelnut made by the joiner squirrel or a old grub. Time out. O oh, mind the fairy's coachmaker, and in this state she gallops night by night through lovers' brains, and then they dream of love. O oh, courtier's knees that dream on courtesies straight, O oh, lawyer's fingers that straight dream on fees, O oh, lady's lips that straight on kisses dreams, which oft the angry mad with blisters plagues, because their breaths with sweet meats tainted are. Over park, over pale, through flood, through fire. I do wander everywhere, swifter than the moon's sphere, and I serve the fairy queen to do her orbs upon the green. How such tall her pensioners be, and their gold coats spot to see, those be rubies, fairy favors, and those freckles live their seas. I must go seek some dewdrops here, and hang a pearl in every castle's ear. Or else you are that shrewd and knavish plight, called Robin Goodfellow, are not you he? If we shall have a fit, think but this, and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here, while these visions did appear. And this weak and idle theme, no more yielding but a dream, gentles do not reprehend. If you pardon, we will mend. And as I am an honest puck, if we have had an earned luck, now to escape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. Else the puck a lark call, 
So good night unto you all. Give me your hand if we be friends and Robin shall restore me. Speak the speech, I pray you, as I pronounced it to you, trippingly on the tongue. But if you mouth it, as many of your players do, I had as lief the town crier spoke my lines. Nor do not saw the air too much with your hand. Thus, but use all gently, for in the very torrent tempest, and as I may say, the whirlwind of passion, you must acquire and beget a temperance that may give it smoothness. Oh, it offends me to the soul to hear a robustious, periwig-painted fellow tear a passion to tatters, to very rags to split the ears of the groundlings, who for the most part are capable of nothing but inexplicable dumb shows and noise. Saw the uh, your hand too much. Saw the ear too much. Nor do not saw the ear too much with your hand. Sometimes she gallops over courtier's nose, then dreams he of smelling out his suit. Sometimes she comes with a tithe pig's tail. Tickling a parson's nose as a lies asleep. Then dreams he of another benefice. That is this very mab that plates the manes of horses in the night, that bakes the elf fox in foul, sluttish hairs, which once untangled much misfortune bodes. That is the hag. That is she. <laughs> about the cauldron go in the poisoned and shroud store sweltered venom sleeping off boiled out first i the charmed pot double double toil and trouble fire burning cauldron bubble cool it with the baboon's blood and the charm of famine good by the pricking of my thumbs something wicked this way comes open locks whoever knocks Thrice the branded cat that mute, thrice and once the hedge ate the smoke. What is that? May that horse wectrian, the himself, nulla drinkin. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Small pain hath little higher. No pain, no gain. It is ever whacking of a sleeping dog. That sleeping dog's life. It is now good a sleeping hound to walk. Diverse fathers led in diverse folk the rest away to Rome. All roads lead to Rome. Will you both eat your cake and have your cake? For to foolish demand, behove us a foolish answer. Ask a stupid question, get a stupid answer. Bid with them 
that bed with you. I may not govern much people that cannot govern himself. A pot full of milk must be kept well from the cat. It is a sotio mouse that sleepeth in the catus air. Tell us you never before that thy foot slept. Don't tell your enemy that you can't run away. Something is better than nothing. Of a little sparkle cometh a great fire. Enough is as good as a fest. As an old field whence fresh and green I grew, so of old books cometh our cunning new. Sing, sing, sing.